everybody, I'm Judy Sue of ABC7. So happy and grateful that you are here with us here today for Bridge Community Celebrating Women Transforming Lives Virtual Lunch and Celebration. As many of you know, I have been a part of this lunch and celebration for many years, and I look forward to it every spring. And I'm so thrilled to be serving as your MC once again, even though virtually. Now, when we presented the Virtual Celebrating Women Transforming Lives program one year ago, we never thought we would be doing it virtually again. But nevertheless, I am thrilled for you to be joining me and the Bridge Community's Board of Directors and staff for this inspirational afternoon. So sit back, relax, let us share these stories with you. We will be presenting and congratulating our 2021 Celebrating Women Transforming Lives honorees over a gourmet luncheon provided by my chef, thank you, uh, but of course in a virtual setting with all the same beloved components as if we were right here together in this room. Now this past year has brought many challenges that we never thought possible, but despite the hardships, there were feelings of hope and a great sense of community. We experienced and heard so many amazing stories of resiliency and kindness taking place all over the world. And throughout the program today, you will hear about the transformative work that Bridge Communities does, bringing hope and new opportunities for families experiencing homelessness. As we do every year, we will celebrate the honorees who make a difference for women and children in our community. And proceeds, by the way, from the luncheon will benefit the families housed by Bridge Communities. I am so happy that you are here celebrating Bridge, our client families, and the special people making an impact around each of us every single day. We have more than 200 of you joining us today. Hi, everybody, remotely. And we have an inspiring program to share. So without further ado, I officially welcome you. Another important welcome I want to make is to the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund, who is providing a matching grant for the Celebrating Women Transforming Lives Lunch and Celebration today. Their generosity will match all donations up to $15,000. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Megan Lynch, manager of the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund helping those in need at a time when they need it most. That's what DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund stands for, and why the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund could not be more proud to support Bridge Communities Celebrating Women Transforming Lives Lunch and Celebration today, and Bridges Extraordinary Program. Like you, I have seen firsthand Bridges' mission in action, working to break the cycle of poverty and abuse and provide hope to homeless families. So for the sixth year in a row, the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund is proud to provide a matching grant. I challenge you to give as generously as you possibly can. For every dollar you donate, the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund will double it up to the first $15,000. So please open your heart and help families experiencing homelessness build bright futures full of hope and possibilities. Thank you so much. My next special welcome is to David Wardell, who is a sophomore in high school and spends his free time giving back to others. Now, David currently lives with his parents and siblings in the Bridge Community's Transitional Housing Program. He has been a Boy Scout since third grade, and he is currently working to get his Eagle Scout rank. It is very impressive, as only 4% of Scouts that start in Scouting actually finish to the rank of Eagle before the age of 18. Now, David chose Bridge Communities to be the recipient of his Eagle Scout project because Bridge helped his family and he wanted to give back. Here's David. So this is my merit badge sash. The little green outlines is non-eagle acquired and the little silver outlines is eagle acquired. You have to have 23 total merit badges to get eagle. These do kind of bring back some good memories, yeah. So I'm 15. I'll be turning 16 in June. Um, I'm a sophomore right now in high school. Um, my family, we were struggling at a point and then talked to Bridge and they had helped us get an apartment to kind of get back on our feet. Um, before that, we were living hotel to hotel. It just depended on how much we can afford with the hotel. Sometimes we would not eat a lot. Sometimes we would eat maybe a little breakfast because when we stayed, they had breakfast. We always made sure that not having that stability, it's it's frustrating, it's scary. I was not 
that happy. I was kind of in a depression state at that time, so I would always keep to myself. I wouldn't talk to many people. My dad was at work one day, and my mom picked us up from school, and my mom was like, all right, we gotta go somewhere, and I'm like, okay, where are we going? She gets a surprise. And she had the key, and she went, opened the door, and I'm like, wait, mom, what is going on? And she opened it, and my mom's like, welcome to a new place, and I, I just broke down and started crying, and I'm like, Mom, you're not, you're not serious. I was like emotional, I was happy. I'm kind of proud of my mom and dad because they've been working hard on trying to save money, trying to get us our own house, and support us as much as they can on top of working. Bridge Communities helped us save a lot of money. They've helped us try to get a home of our own. They have helped us so much that Honestly, I can't describe it in words. And that's when I th started th thinking about how to pay them back. So as part of Gigma Eagle Scout, I have to do a project, which my project, I chose to do it for Bridge Communities because um, they've helped me a lot. So I am building five uh, benches and then one kid's picnic table because like where I live, there's a lot of littler kids so a lot of the parents bring out lawn chairs, and I thought, why not build something permanent where they can sit, and then build something also where the kids can sit if they need. For the kids, if they get tired playing, they can always come sit and kind of like relax, drink some water, and then over here with the benches, the bench for the parents, they can just monitor the kids, because there is a lot of younger kids here, and they just want to make sure they're safe. Um, I think of this place as a sense of, more of a sense of like peace and kind of all coming together to help each other. I kind of get the drive of doing this is from Bridge because they help me and my family out a lot. So I'm trying my hardest to give back to as many people as I can. In my life, I want to make a change in the world and give back to people and help people as much as I can. I think Bridge has gave me more of that possibility to kind of be that person I am now. It makes me feel like I'm making an impact in the world. What a gift David is to our community and a pretty amazing teenager, don't you think? His inspiration and choice to make Bridge Communities the recipient of his Eagle Scout project was because Bridge has meant so much to him and his family, and he really wanted to give back in his very own special way. The world is a better place with you in it. Thank you, David, for sharing your big heart and your uplifting story. Now allow me to introduce to you another inspirational story of resiliency, our live transformed honoree, Cio Sotelo. After a job loss and a very difficult divorce, Cio and her three young boys faced homelessness. Then a member of their church guided them to bridge communities when they found a brand new life and new hope. While at Bridge, CEO took action and returned to school. She now works to change lives as an RN for a substance and behavioral health clinic. She will complete her BSN this summer and recently purchased a house. CEO also volunteers her time to coach Bridge mentors and clients on her highly successful budgeting strategies. We are thrilled to present CEO with a Life Transformed Award. Looking back four years ago, um, I was at a crossroads in my life, um, facing homelessness. I had just gone through a divorce. I had just lost my job from 17 years, of 17 years. And uh, that weekend, I wanted to go and restart something like that, and I broke my leg. I was non-weight bearing for a year. I depleted all of my savings, and I was in the middle of losing my house. And it was just me and my three boys. I found a connection, her name's Teresa, and she connected me to Bridge Communities. I called Bridge, and, and it was a waiting period. They had a, wait, a waiting period. And um, during that time, I didn't think I was gonna get called. And then I received the phone call and they said they wanted me to come in for an interview. And uh, that, that moment changed my life. 
it was hope. When I, when I most needed it the most, the volunteers, the mentors, um, they have so many support systems. All the tools I needed was, were provided for me. All I needed to do was, was grasp that moment and, and take the opportunity. And all I could think of is, what can I do to give my kids a better future? They think I'm Wonder Woman. That's what they call me because I am always trying to do everything. Right now I'm their, their role model and um, they say that they can't do what, I, what I've what i accomplished. Um, right now I'm at a 4.0 GPA and um, I say you, you can do it. You too can do it. If I did it, you can do it too. I will have two bachelors at the end of, of this summer. I have a bachelor's in Spanish and, and it might be a son. Two classes away. Being in that hospital setting is what led me to wanting to become a nurse. I need to help someone else. If someone was able to do it for me, then I need to do it for others. There's, there's a reason why everything happened and, and I know now that's my calling, is to help other people. With the pandemic, there's a lot of patients who are struggling with mental health. And sometimes I'm that one person that they see. And you know, it's, it's very important to just say, hi, how are you doing? How's your day? And it just makes a big difference. And I'm able to capture that with my patients. I'm able to help them. It's such a satisfying feeling that you know that you get, and I, I just want to give back. I was very excited to share my uh, coupon saving experience and how I do it, my strategy with with my mentor, and she invited me to to mentor others in the program and also the clients. Some clients never knew that there was apps that there was a way to just budget, there was a way to save. This is a spreadsheet that we would create year, you know, every single month and track it, as well as my savings, my groceries, my car insurance. It was a way for me to keep track of what my end result would be. A lot of strategic planning. If I can make a difference and be a role model by, by showing the women that being a single parent it's not an obstacle. Being a female is not an obstacle. I had a mission to purchase my home. I knew I had to save a down payment and, and that was my goal. It's still very surreal to me and uh, I, I, I still can't believe I did it. I, I did it with all of your generous help, with Bridge, with the mentors, they have provided me the tools that allowed me to become a homeowner and I'm very thankful, I'm very blessed and I'm still going forward. I'm still taking advantage of this opportunity that was given to me and I'm not going to let them down. I'm not going to let anyone down. I have to give back to everyone who has helped me. I have to give back to my children who who see me as their role model. We're all capable of changing someone's life, changing your own life, and it starts with you first. And I wanna say you can do it. Go for it. <laughs> CEO, thank you for your devotion to care for others in your profession, as well as all of your volunteer work. Your enthusiasm to teach your budgeting and saving strategies used to achieve your goals of becoming a homeowner and finish nursing school debt-free is just extraordinary. So proud of you. You have come full circle and you are now transforming lives. My name is Vicki Joseph. As a mentor of Bridge Communities, I'm honored to share this message with you today. I've been a volunteer mentor for the past 27 years, and there are several common truths. Every parent experiencing homelessness wants something better for her children, a safe place to live, higher quality of life, and opportunities for their future. Let me tell you about Shauna. I met Shauna about a year and a half ago. 
She cried through most of our first few meetings and trembled as she shared a bit of her traumatic journey through abuse from her parents in foster care and then from her partner, the father of her child. When this man left her, he took her car, her bank account, and any shred of self-worth and confidence. You would not recognize Shauna today with her sparkling eyes and electric smile, particularly when she talks about her seven-year-old daughter. She is about to complete her associate's degree at COD and then begin her bachelor's degree at Lewis in the three plus one program. I received an email from Shauna last week and I'd like to read part of it to you. I thank you all for helping to make this happen in my life. This degree program is tough and sometimes I hit brick walls, yet I am aware of the short window of time I have in this amazing program and the need for my child to experience life beyond poverty. Something as small as taking her on vacation will mean the world to me because she has yet to experience that. Unfortunately, she has experienced lack of family support, homelessness, and the death of a father, and it's not broken her spirit. She is still a vibrant, happy, resilient child. It amazes me. I thank you for helping me to protect her innocence while I get on my feet. Thanks to people like you, Shauna's life just keeps getting better. I mentor with Bridge Communities because it's my privilege to make the world a little kinder place, to offer the chance for a family to claw their way out of abuse and poverty. I've seen hundreds of examples of how the Bridge program works, but we can't do it without your help. I ask for each of you now to consider a gift to support the 100 plus at-risk and homeless families that Bridge will house in this upcoming year. You should have received a donation card and envelope with your luncheon. I ask you to please find the card and review it with me now. When you give $500 or more today, you will become a 2021 member of our Monarch Society, a special giving circle dedicated to this annual luncheon celebration. A $500 donation will ensure every parent and child that walks into a Bridge Community's home has what he or she needs to start life anew. To provide you an example, when you donate $500 today, you will actually be giving $1,000 thanks to our generous matching donor, the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund. That $1,000 provides a family a home and mentorship for one full month. Thank you so much for your generosity and partnership in providing a home and hope for families like Shauna's. If a gift of $500 is not within your budget today, I ask you to consider a gift of a more fitting dollar amount for you. Knowing 100% of all gifts made will directly benefit Bridge families. You can also structure your giving as an affordable monthly gift by joining the Circle of Hope Giving Society. To maximize your giving, your full donation will be matched here today while you give it in a monthly amount that fits your lifestyle. That's a win-win. Now, won't you please fill out the card with your donation information and mail it to Bridge Communities? You can give via a check or credit card, or you can visit the website, www.bridgecommunities.org, to make your donation. And please do not forget about the DuPage Medical Charitable Fund and that your donation, dollar for dollar, up to $15,000 will be matched. I know, isn't that incredible? Let me express a big thank you for DMG's generous challenge and to all of you for your consideration of a gift. So thank you for all of your generosity. So heartwarming to know that so many people are dedicating their lives to serve and advocate for others. Our next Celebrating Women Transforming Lives honoree is supporting racial justice, civil rights, and economic empowerment for African Americans and others in DuPage, King, Kendall, and Will Counties. The region is richer for the passion and dedication of our Transforming Lives honoree, Theo Gillespie. Theo has focused her entire adult life on developing collaborations and fostering community partnerships in order to empower children, youth, and adults because she understands the need to educate yourself and work hard in pursuing your dreams. She began her career with the Quad County Urban League in 1984 and since 1993 has served as the organization's president and CEO, advocating for and facilitating client success through education and workforce development in the Quad Counties. 
As you will see, Theo believes education and employment opportunities garner great potential for individuals and their families, which makes a significant impact locally and puts them in a position to build better lives. Her motto is that sustainable career opportunities help create healthy and viable communities where residents love to live, work, and play. Theo is an outspoken advocate for equality and is innovative and forward-thinking in all that she does for her incredible leadership, service, and dedication to empower communities and change lives. We are honored to present Theo with a Transforming Lives Award. Kwai County Urban League is uh, one of 90 Urban League affiliates throughout the country that's uh, affiliated with our National Urban League, which is located in New York. Our mission is to develop and provide resources to residents, primarily African Americans, um, so they can be able to participate in the social mainstream of our communities. We're giving individuals those tools for them to be successful. Not giving them a handout, we're giving them a hand up. But when you can find a family, a mother, who, um, obtain a career that's been life-changing for her and that she comes back that now I'm able to prepare for my uh, child's college education. Now I can buy a home. And so these are dreams that they never thought that they can pursue. It's about the individual lives that we've made an impact on because that's what we have to do for each other. And the pandemic showed us that even more so, that we have to be in this together and we have to work together and we have to make sure that we have the support that we need to keep going because it's been hard for mothers. It's been hard for women making those decisions that they have to, whether they want to stay at home and educate their child or whether they have to continue to work. I believe as women that we have to support each other. We have to share our experience. We have to, um, let women know that you have someone that's watching you and that's gonna be there when you really need them. I am all in when it comes to supporting our young women, our women who are doing well, celebrating them, acknowledging them for doing well, and then asking them to give back to their community and to help someone else, not just because they made it, but somebody was there for them. And we wanna make sure that we continue that history because that has been the history of women. I love being around people who inspire others. So this is Mamie Till, this is Rosa Park, and this is Marie Wilkerson. And these are women who are trailblazer in their own rights and have made an impact on so many women and feeling good about fighting for what they feel is right. We've always celebrated each other, we always encourage each other, and that's what we have incorporated into, we as the Quiet County Urban League, into our programs, and that's what we will continue to do and partner with other organizations that have that same interest of empowering women to be the best. So I would like to say thank you, Bridge Community, for the opportunity to uh, be a part of the program. But more importantly, I want to um, thank Bridge Community for making a difference to our residents giving them the tools, the opportunity to excel, to understand what it's like to build a healthy life for themselves and their families. And that when we give to organizations like the Quiet County Urban League and Bridge Communities, we're building a strong community where everyone can thrive and enjoy and give back. And that makes me really feel good about what I do every day. And I, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve for the community and with the community. So you saw Theo empowers and lifts others up every single day. She has developed collaborative and community partnerships throughout the metropolitan area and has been dedicated to a host of community and regional organizations being a thought leader in education, employment, law enforcement, and politics. Theo has spent the last four decades advocating for others as they work hard to improve their careers and opportunities. So thank you, Theo. You are truly an inspiration. I hope you can all feel the energy of this program here today. So moved by the incredible change makers whose stories we were able to share with you today. Theo, CEO, and David, thank you for sharing your passions and for the many impactful changes that you are making in this community. It is an honor to celebrate each of you today. 
I am sure that you, just like me, enjoy meeting our honorees today and hearing their stories of hope and inspiration. And my hope is that you felt inspired to give to Bridge Community. So before we end our time here together, we do need to thank the sponsors who contributed to make Celebrating Women Transforming Lives virtual luncheon today a big success. So thank you to the following sponsors. J.C. Ligt and Waterton, Wheaton Bank and Trust, Glen Ellen Bank and Trust, Naperville Bank and Trust, Bolingbrook Bank and Trust, My Chef Catering, thank you, thank you, Bank Financial and Ulta Beauty, Beaks Co., First Ego Bank, One Digital Health and Benefits, Catcon Incorporated, York Printing, and Coldwell Banker Residential Brokerage Charitable Foundation. And one more thank you to the DuPage Medical Group Charitable Fund for providing the $15,000 matching grant for all of the donations made to the Celebrating Women Transforming Lives event. We so appreciate you coming together virtually and joining us for this virtual edition of Celebrating Women Transforming Lives Luncheon Celebration. Your support makes a world of difference for the 100 plus families served by Bridge Communities this year. Please stay safe and stay healthy. And I cannot wait to see you in person next year. In the meantime, I will see you on ABC7. Bye-bye.